Hello, everybody. It's Michelle here with Angel Souls, and this is our daily angelic message for June 23rd, 2024. Now, today we have decision. The number is 15 in angelic numbers. You can take the one and the five and the meanings around that. One is usually ascension, independence, um, you know, think first house kinds of things. Five is change. It's transformation. It's breaking things down so that you can rebuild it, which leads you into the number six. That's the rebuilding part. To me, to me, the number five, you know, I come with the stupid examples. The number five is knowing you need more storage in your home. So you order that, that piece of furniture from online that you have to put together. Five is looking at that box going, oh man, I got I to gotta change. I got to get up and do this. I, I can't be lazy about this. And finally getting yourself up to open the box. Six is putting it together. I did not say it was good. I, I warned you it was a bad example. I don't know why my brain works like this. It does. Okay, that's what's what we got. It's what we're working with here. However, we're going to add the one and the five. It does become the six. So you see there's a progression in that story. And now because I give you a stupid example, maybe you'll remember it. I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? One of my favorite moments in math class when I was in high school, I couldn't even tell you. I think it was algebra. I was terrible at math or it was just harder for me. And I remember this kind of, um, I'm going to call him grumpy, uh, math teacher came in one day and he took a piece of foil and he just <laughs> took a tack and put it up uh, on the cork board. And then he just like sat down at his desk and we're all sitting there going, what did he do? Like why a piece of aluminum foil he just tacked up there? Well, that was the lesson of the day. And I remember that being a fun day because it was the first time I saw this guy have a sense of humor. And uh, I remember a little bit of that lesson that day. So just things like that, things that like really set you off. <laughs> it was so dumb. You're never going to forget it, right? All right. So back to the card. Decision, Archangel Joe Fayel. Jophiel is associated with the crown chakra often. Now, if you work with a Reiki master uh, sometimes or another angelic medium, sometimes they will associate different archangels to different chakras. It doesn't make them wrong. Uh, you know, we, we just work that way. But I have more often felt and heard others say Jophiel is associated with the crown chakra. So that deep wisdom, but deep wisdom through beauty, seeing, instead of trying to create what you think beauty is, it's embracing the beauty that's already there and, and just see, finally seeing it, you know, turning the light up so you can see it. All right. So this says, release yourself from that which holds you back. A need to detox, unnecessary worry based on a lack of self-confidence. One of the things I always point out with this card, I don't think you're, I'm like way back from the camera these days, but um, <laughs> I, changed, I changed up where I'm at. Um, but here is a bird cage. There are birds flying out of it and there is a bird. You're not going to be able to see it. It's too tiny, I think. But uh, there's still a bird just sitting there. Despite the door being open, despite the opportunity, it's just still sitting there on the perch going, yeah, but I'm comfortable here. I'm familiar with this. And you know what? Typically, we would look at that and be like, oh, bird, the, the lesson is... <laughs> The lesson is you could be free. Why would you keep yourself caged? Well, guess what? How do we know that these other birds didn't immediately get eaten by something? Plot twist. <laughs> okay. Okay. You, what's my point? I don't, I don't know that I have one. Um, but I'm just saying you have to feel out what, <laughs> what feels like freedom and um, what feels like throwing caution to the wind balancing that okay if, if you're sitting in the cage and and you see something that could eat you maybe don't fly out at that moment wait a little later so before I could beat a metaphor even further into the ground we're going to leave it there I love you guys thank you for putting up with me take care <laughs> bye-bye